In this how-to video, I want to show you what to look out for when deciding which heating rod should be used together with our Fronius Ompalot. For this, I have an example here, a heating rod from the manufacturer Ascoma. And yeah, on this unit, I want to explain briefly what to look out for. First of all, check the loads of, of this heating rod that it also specifies with the possible loads from the Ompalot. This means three kilowatt can be maximum switched uh, single phase. And for three phase connections, we can go up as high as nine kilowatt. Second point is please make sure that we have not a triangular connection, but a star connection, a star topology on our heating rods. And together with this, also that a neutral conductor is carried out. Very, very important. I hope we see it also on the detailed camera. Here we have the neutral conductors carried out to the actual neutral connection, which goes back to the own pilot itself. If we have um, any controllings on it, for example, a mechanical uh, switch, um, that's perfectly fine. We can use a heating rod also if it has a bimetal switch like this, but it has to switch all three phases simultaneously if we use a three phase connection here. And we also must not forget to set it to a higher temperature than we want the actual own pilot to do the loading. When we talk about additional components and features, please make sure that no active control units are built into this heating rod, such as a fan or a, a electronic switching component. This would get destroyed with our pulse width modulation that we have from our own pilot output. So very, very important to keep it simple, to, to buy a simple heating rod with no active control components built in. Again, a bimetal switch or an LED does not count in this case. All right, so that's it for the actual heating rod. Now let's also take a quick look into our own pilot. So within the own pilot, it's just important to remember that the connection to the AC side is on the left hand side. And please remember, we need single phase for also a single phase heating rod and free phase if we choose to use a free phase heating rod. And also, we come then to the output of the own pilot and we have here phase one on the far right hand side, then phase two and phase three. And remember only phase number one is being dynamically controlled. So if we use only a single phase heating rod, we must connect it to phase one because this is the one we regulate. 